Then I have to stare at your crazy eyes yeah. the entire time. <laughs> did we just have the one. same idea at the same time? Yeah, we did. That's kind of weird. It's not. Lock that it. was a good one. <gasps> wombats! I forgot oh. about wombats. Are they fluffy? Kangaroos are dangerous. They can punch you in the face. Or, or like lean, lean on their back tail and kick you. Did they really do that? I thought that's a cartoon no, thing. They do it. Oh, have you ever seen that happen? Yes. Mm. Unicorns. <laughs> Good stuff. So now I'm sitting here with Josh, a death dog Edwards, who is working for BenQ and also playing Counter Strike for Team Immunity. You've had quite a way to go in gaming. You've been there since many, many years. And um, if one is to look uh, at your whole story, your whole career, very much looks like a Cinderella story with less fairies and more rifles. So let's talk a little bit about how you started. You started as a Counter-Strike player. Yeah, uh, I did start in, uh, in CS Source in 2005. Mm -hmm. And I actually won the first national championship for CS Source in Australia. Um, after that, I, I uh, had the opportunity to go to CGS and, and, and do that with the salary and everything like that. But I had to turn it down because it was my final year of school. You've been a gamer, then you started working for BenQ. How, how did that happen? Did BenQ come up to you? Did you go up to BenQ? Was that something you wanted to do? Well, I mean, Team Immunity is sponsored by BenQ, um, and it was at the height of my Battlefield career, so I was quite popular in Australia. Um, among, yeah, you guys became world champion, right? Yeah, in the Nations Cup, uh, if you want to call it that. Um, Let's do it. <laughs> Sounds more fancy. Yeah, OK. <laughs> so how was that, like standing up there? Winning that thing totally unexpected. It was the ultimate rush. I mean, when I won that first nationals, my heart was just beating in my chest, like pounding in my ears. I couldn't focus on anything except, you know, I was just like, it's just an adrenaline rush to, to realize I took away money finally. I took away like a decent sum of money for playing games. I was sponsored by Team Immunity and, and BenQ wanted to do a product demonstration video for the XL2420T, which was the new monitor at the time. And they, they said to Tim, we need, look, we, we need a, a gamer that's going to be able to demonstrate our features and, and communicate it in such a way that people will, you know, they'll want to watch it. They're not just going to think it's, um, it's gibberish, it's marketing babble, yeah. that kind of thing. They want a, a gaming perspective. So I was brought in and I did that. Um, and it got 22,000 views. And after that, I was, I was interned at BenQ. And then from there, I got the job as the marketing executive there. And now I handle um, projector side and the monitor side. And it's all really interesting to me to, uh, to learn new products and meet new people and, um, and talk to people that are passionate about gaming, even though they're not really gamers. So um, now BenQ offering you such a job, uh, what made you take it instead of like keep on being a professional gamer? What kind of opportunities did you see there? I think the timing was right because I'd just finished uni and, I, and they said to me, look, we, we have a position open for you and we'd really love to have you here as a, as a gamer because you know your, your viewpoint is something that while we can kind of try to learn and, and, and study as much as we can in gaming, we're not going to have the same um, experience that you might have had from growing up in gaming for the last you know, seven, ten years kind of thing. So that was the opportunity for me and uh, to me it's kind of like a passion project because um, at the same time I can try to develop esports in Australia. I can, act, I can be actively involved in, in making it better so that you know, the next kid that is born and, and has the same dream that I had when I was, you know, 10 years old, 15 years old, maybe he'll have the chance to do it like I didn't because the scale is just not there in Australia yet, but I want to try to get there. So we're now currently in Singapore. Um, how, how often have you been traveling around, like in Asia or other countries? Uh, personal, personal travel? Mm, well, work-related, personal, whatever. Oh, well, this is my first work-related trip, but personal, I've been to Singapore like seven or eight times, so... Um, I, I've always loved to, to travel here. I never really expected that IEM would have a stop here, but it's been really, um, really amazing to, to go to IEM here and see that people are watching. I, I mean, even, it, even though it is a small scale event, it's still really amazing to see that, you know, eSports has come to Singapore in a big way. Uh, would, you, would you like an IEM stop in, in Australia as well? I would, I would go nuts for IEM in Australia. <laughs> I would absolutely love it. I'd be so thrilled to get involved with it and do whatever I can to help out. Um, and I'd love to play in it as well and meet all the personalities behind the scene, like Carmack and you know all the shoutcasts as well. Um, I love that you most... just mentioned Carmack by name. Is that is there a bit of a nerd crush going on? Um, <laughs> I guess okay. there's 
There's Ignore the cameras, <laughs> no one will know. The strong admiration for Carmack that I have, um, given that he, he started you know, as, a, as a journalist for a different organisation and is, he knows gamers and he is a gamer himself and he's worked his way up to where he is now and he, he knows exactly what we need. He knows how to do it and he knows how to put it in a way that's not the corporate fluff kind of thing. He, he just says it how it is and, and, and no holds barred kind of um, attitude towards gaming and it works. I mean, look at IEM now, it's, it's great, it's amazing. So he's like a real inspiration for you, is he? Yeah, he's definitely one of the, um, one of the people I look up to in gaming um, passion-wise. Mm -hmm. Just through what he's done and what he can achieve and, and where he's come from, it, it, it speaks to me in, in a big way, definitely. Mm -hmm.